Jennifer back. Um, as you can see, I have added my entire building block here. And I also added a rated G um, MPAA rating. And I'm going to possibly show you how to do that. I mean, it's pretty simple. What I did was I just grabbed grabbed an MPAA rating from the internet and made it the same color. You should have the skills to do that by now. I may make a separate video just to show you. Um, but the other thing here is um, I'm going to show you how to go from this to maybe you want to do a different kind of movie where you have maybe it's a love story. So let me show you my next version. So how would I go from here to something like this? Okay. So <clears throat> I grabbed two images from the internet and I changed the name to crossing stars, which is, would be like about a couple, maybe overcoming a uh, hardship to be together, something like that. I just kind of came up with that title. Um, from my brain. And uh, so how would I do something like this? So let me show you some new skills that will be helpful um, in doing this. Um, I, as you see, what I, I did a search for um, pensive looking people. As you can see, they look uh, quite dramatic. And I'm going to turn this off. And of course, I, I, I came up with a completely different title, different font. This is called um, Alien League, I believe, Alien League font, which is a really cool font. has kind of a science fiction-y look. And let me just turn these off so I can start from scratch and show you again. So here they are, right? Here's my man and here's my woman, okay? Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I want to just select the man. Now, I have Photoshop 2021 and this version of course allows me some great tools. So if I go here into the quick selection tool, which is in the object selection tool, magic wand tool, I could just go ahead and select him. With this version, as you may recall from my previous tutorial where I showed you how to remove the background of hair, um, I can use select subject, right? So if I click on select subject, as long as I'm on the right layer, let me uh, command D that, make sure you're on the correct layer here. I've selected it, select subject. It does a great job of just selecting him. But what if I don't have select subject? I'm just going to hit command Z. Well, the best thing would be this uh, quick selection tool. Not necessarily the uh, the other tool, because let's say I don't want all of his body, uh, meaning not necessarily this tool, the object selection tool. Um, if I wanted just part of his body, I wouldn't necessarily need the object selection tool. So let's just use this one because this one is a little bit older. <laughs> it's a great tool and it gives you a little more control. Um, now, in this case, I probably will just grab all of him. And then what I'll do is I'll erase part of his body. So I don't want this outer part. So I'm going to hold down option to subtract from the selection option again. All right, let's say that is good. And of course, I'm going to go to select and mask. As I showed you with that other tutorial, you'll notice a little bit of his eye is missing. I'm going to cancel. The best way to handle this I've found, although Photoshop is getting better and better, is to go out of the tool and go in here and just select this before I go into that tool. But remember, Photoshop is getting better and better and I may have been able to add that in and had it look really good when I was in the dialog box. But it is good to start with the best selection you can. And let's say this is good enough. So go back into Select and Mask and that's looking better. I'm gonna use Smart Radius. Now had I wanted to add to the selection in select and mask, I could have used some of these tools here. Okay, but I've got the smart radius selected here and I'm gonna go ahead and, and let's scroll down. Remember, you wanna make sure that you your view mode as view is overlay and that your color is whatever color works for you. Red is working fine for me. 
If I scroll up here, Smart Radius, I'm going to bring this up. And now this is a much softer, nicer selection. You'll notice I've got his, a selection of his hair much better. This looks absolutely excellent. And now I can try decontaminate colors. That always can help. Actually, it did. I think that looks even better. And now I'm going to just output to new layer only, just new layer. Click on OK. And there he is. And he looks really good. OK. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use my eraser tool with a very soft brush and just erase around him. In fact, I'm going to make it even softer. I'm going to make it bigger. So in order to get it to be softer, remember you hit shift left bracket. If you're completely soft and it still feels a little bit like you want it even softer, make it a, make the tool bigger. See, and now I have a softer edge there. Okay, so there we go. Let's just grab a little bit of that and I'll just get rid of that line at the bottom. Maybe take this part out here. Okay, and take that part out there a little bit. So he's looking pretty good, okay? And I'll switch to the Move tool by hitting V on my keyboard and move him up. All right, um, let's go back to the Eraser tool by hitting E. I'm gonna make my tool a little bit smaller and just get that little area there because I still see a little line. Okay, let's say that's good enough. All right, now let's work on the woman. I'm gonna turn him off while I do this. Um, and I'll put her over right underneath, turn him off and turn this selection on. And for her, I'm going to use the same tool because this is an older one, which most of you probably have. And this is going to be a little bit trickier because um, as you can see, her hair is in a white background. So that's going to take some time. Now, don't forget that I, I made a very, very uh, good tutorial for you on selecting hair and removing backgrounds. I, I made a, it was a pretty long video. Um, I'm going to probably uh, direct you back to it so that you can make sure that you can use it. It was how to select hair, um, like maybe two, two tutorials um, ago, like in two, a previous assignment, but I'll, I'll make sure I load it up for you. Okay, so here we are. Now the problem is I have Getty images here, which I don't want, but I'm going to use another tool, which is very helpful to remove Getty images. Okay, so let's say that's pretty good. Um, it's gonna be a little bit difficult in here. I'd really wanna go in there and use the lasso tool and maybe use like other tools to get rid of the white in the background. However, I'm also going to be using a blend mode to help with this selection. And I may not need to worry about this white in the background ultimately. So let's just try not worrying about it. And we're gonna put that hair just like about like that. That's looking pretty good. Now I could go in, what I would do is I'd use the magic wand and just click on, hold down option and click on things like that. But see, as you can see, it's gonna take a lot of refinement. And I don't even think I need to remove these little white areas. Another tool that would really work is the lasso tool. But like I said, you wanna work as efficiently as possible. And I don't think I'm gonna actually need to worry about this ultimately. Okay, so once again, select and mask. Okay, and let's make that a little smaller. And remember, I'm gonna be erasing a lot of this anyway. So I'm gonna make, definitely go with my smart radius, click on this button, make my radius larger. Okay, and that's looking pretty nice. Um, her shoulder's a little soft, but that's actually gonna be okay, considering this is a very soft piece, um, as you can see by the final product. I'm gonna decontaminate colors with this one as well. And I'm gonna go, go ahead and click on okay. Um, oops, Command Z. Let me go back in there. I don't want a layer mask and I accidentally got a layer mask. So select and mask. Smart radius. Let's do that again. 
bring this up. Okay, looking pretty good. Decontaminate colors. In this case, I might not want to. Let me just take a look again. No, I guess I'll keep it. And output to new layer. Not, la with, not with layer mask. Go ahead and click on OK. All right, so she's looking pretty good. I can clean her up quite a bit as well. Okay, but now I'm going to go ahead and use my eraser tool. Remember to hit E on your keyboard just to get to the eraser tool. See how it says eraser tool and then E? Okay, but I'm going to go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and erase. And I want her to be facing a different direction. So as you may recall, the man was looking to the left and now she's also looking to the left. So what do I need to do? All I need to do is flip her, right? Um, so let's say that's pretty good. I'm just going to Command T and flip horizontal. All right, hit Return, hit V to move her up. And I don't want the Getty images, right? Well, let me erase a little bit more. Just see, I kind of want a little bit of her shoulder. Maybe like that. But that Getty images is really problematic. I'm going to just grab this and bring that down. Okay. So what can I do to get rid of Getty images? What I can do is, and I, I usually will put an empty layer above when I'm dealing with something like this. And I can just call this, um, let's see, it's this tool right here. It's the clone stamp. Okay. Um, it's not telling us right now, but anyway, I'm going to call this clone Okay, and now what I'm going to do is using the clone stamp. The, what the clone stamp does it, is it allows you to take pixels from one area and move them to another. You see how the um, Photoshop is showing you how this works? So the way it works is I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to do exactly what Photoshop just showed you. The first thing you need to do is you need to hold down Option to grab the first pixels that you want but make sure that your sample is current layer and below. Okay, if you're going to use an empty layer. The reason I'm using an empty layer is because that way I, I have more flexibility in dealing with her. Um, if I were on the same layer, every clone I made would completely change the layer. And this way I have this layer intact so that any problems that might occur in the way I clone will only be on this blank layer here. So let me show you how this works. So um, I hold down Option to grab these pixels. And now I'm just going to clone them down to here. So what they're doing is they're replacing Getty Images with an upper part of her body. Hold down Option over here. And then just clone this down. Now it can get a little tricky and it can also look a little bit repetitive. So you have to be careful in the way you do these kinds of things. Obviously, this isn't looking as great as I would have wanted, um, but I'm not going to worry about it because I could actually just go in and erase that if I want. Okay, so let's say that's pretty good. It's looking pretty good. It's not quite how I'd want it, um, but I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to just erase more, but first let's do this. Let's shift click, combine these two images now. So you'll see before I do that, that the clone is just this thing and it's only on its own layer okay so I could if I turned it off you see the Getty images below it because Getty images is on woman copy three all right so I'm going to turn clone back on and I'm going to go ahead and combine these two images by going uh, layer merge layers command E okay so now this is all on one layer. And now if I wanted to fix it, I wouldn't be able to as easily because it's baked in to both, both of the layers are combined. But that's okay because I'm gonna go ahead and erase a little bit more just to get rid of that leftover Getty part. And you see, it didn't really matter about this area. So you don't wanna waste your time perfecting things that you may not need at all. All right, now take a look. Remember this white area in the hair? Well, I'm going to put her, and let's call her a woman. Good, just so we don't get confused. Um, and remember I was telling you we were going to use 
a different blend mode? Well, in this case, luminosity is great because it really blends into the entire <clears throat> movie poster. Okay. And the hair is still looking kind of white. I could go in there now and erase it if I wanted to, but maybe it has a nice halo that works for this piece. Man copy three is right here. I'm going to put him below her. Let's call him man, man, good. All right. And he's looking nice, except all we have to do is put him into luminosity mode. And now we can just arrange them a little bit. So maybe I'll bring her out a little. Okay. Um, let's see. Bring her up. Maybe like that. I could erase her hand here if I wanted to, but you get the idea. And now I can shift select, combine them. I'm not going to merge them, but maybe I'll just move them up together as one piece and then maybe transform them. Maybe make them a little bit bigger if I want holding down option to just kind of go from the center and hit return. So this is kind of a fun thing that you can do. You've seen this in movie posters your, probably your whole life. And that's how to make a really nice combination of two characters and have them blend nicely into a background. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, by the way, you'll notice that there's a little bit of her down here as well. So we can just go ahead and erase that. So if I go here, let me just make sure everything's erased there. There we go. And now I've gone from this to this. All right, you guys have fun. And this is going to be your assignment. I'd like you to make a movie poster like this and then just take it one step further and do something like this as well. Um, and show me your screen captures of both of these. Um, all right, have a great day and uh, I will see you soon.